you must be interested in romanticizing your life. Well, let me tell you that you've come to the right place because that is what my channel is all about. And I would consider myself an expert in this area. So sit back, take out your pen and paper because we are going to talk all about this today. Welcome back everyone. My name is Nikki and I am going to help you romanticize your life. This is something that I just have made such a point to do in my life. And while this is the term that a lot of people are calling it, it's really just about making the everyday beautiful, which is my little catchphrase here on my channel. So these are things that we don't have to do. They're not the most efficient thing to do to get things done or the most productive things but they give us so many different rewards in our life. It actually is what makes our life so much more fulfilling. So what I plan to do each month is share different things of what you can do to romanticize your life. And this month, I am going to just share one thing that you can start to do. So hopefully this will be kind of like homework and then we can touch base next month on these things or I might share something throughout the month of what I'm doing and what I did. But first and foremost, I'm just going to get to the point. Today, the homework that I have for you is to write a heartfelt letter. Do you know what this does to somebody in your life? I think that so many times we put something like this off until it's too late. We want to share these beautiful words and these beautiful feelings that we have pent up inside towards these people in our life be it on their birthday, um, on Valentine's Day, or maybe at Christmas time, or just a special occasion, or even more often than not, we wait until someone's gone. And then we want to share these words with other people, and we never even shared these words with the people that matter most to us in our life. So when it comes to romanticizing your life, I'm not just talking about a romantic um, gathering that you may have with an individual or just your significant other. I'm talking about those things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that would help you enjoy your life more, help other people enjoy their life more. It's what makes you so much more memorable. Let's write a heartfelt letter to those that we love in our life. What I would encourage you to do is to get out your best stationery. And if you don't have any stationery, don't worry, I have you covered. You may visit my Etsy shop. That is where I sell the stationery that I have painted different things. And you can get a pack of 20 if you would like or more, depending on what your needs are. But I would encourage you to get out 12 different sets, 12 different envelopes, and just write the name of the person that you plan on writing each month. That way you are already set to go for the year and then of course you will be sitting down and you can write that very first heartfelt letter to somebody. It's just too often that we will quickly send a text or we send an email to somebody. This is most often what we think of when doing this, when we want to tell somebody how we feel about them but I think that it's so much nicer when we can put our thoughts on paper. We can have something delivered to somebody concrete and tangible and that they would get to enjoy and it's something so unexpected. And I understand that this can be really hard for us to do because we're just not used to doing that. Now for those of you who do this, please let me know in the comments below and share with others how this has helped you, how this has changed your life. I remember reading about this in a book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and this was one of the things that was suggested that you do, is to write a heartfelt letter to somebody. And this was something that was recommended that you did once a week. That way you, I mean, think of all the people 52 weeks in a month in a year that you would be able to reach and a lot of us have You know multiple people in our lives that we just don't even think about doing this for and I know that from my channel alone I receive so much encouragement from all of you. I receive just the most amazing uplifting words 
through my email, through a through letters even, but also in comments weekly. And I just want you to know how much that means to me. And so many times I have just been feeling really down and someone's comment just really made my day. And it just lifted me up in a way that just, you know, common everyday, day-to-day -day things don't. And I hope that this does something very special for you because it's just one of those ways that you can romanticize your life. You can slow down a bit more and just put pen to paper and tell somebody what they mean to you, how much you love them, how much they, you know, have made a difference in your life, whatever the case may be. Do this and it will come back to you in so many different ways. And I don't mean by somebody writing to you, although that is a wonderful benefit, but just in other ways, just in you having that gratitude for those people in your life. And I have to say on a personal note that this past year, not last year, but the year before, I wrote to um, a family member of mine that I had been out of touch with for some time. And it reignited a relationship and it has become the highlight of my year this past year. I really enjoyed the friendship that it fostered and it wasn't to say that that's how we communicated from then on out, but starting it in that way really did help things. And I am just so happy with where it took my life today. So there are so many different benefits. Let me know yours in the comments below if this is something that you did or if this is something that you continue to do. And like I said, I hope that this really improves your life and helps to romanticize your life. So you can look forward to me sharing two new things next month. This is going to be a buildable series with all of these different homework assignments that I hope that you will do and then um, just build on it every single month. So next month, don't stop writing those heartfelt letters, but I will have two new things that I look forward to sharing with you then. So thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, everyone.